Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the wonderful world of pink. Benjamin Moore's first light is a gorgeous light paint color that was crowned as the company's 2020 color of the year. It was announced before we all found out what 2020 was really about, but I digress. It was also conveniently the very first color review we ever did on this channel. So now some time has passed and our video format has been refined somewhat. So I thought it would be wonderful to revisit this color and this time give you some coordinating color pairings that go with it, including a white, a light paint color, a mid-tone, and a dark one, just to give you the full spectrum so you can build a beautiful color palette for your home. Welcome to the Paint People, where we talk about painting and decorating related stuff. And today is all about the beautiful pink paint color called First Light that I really wanted to revisit. It's one that has always fascinated me, and I was a little apprehensive about using it myself because pink, but the more I thought about it, the more I loved what it represents. Benjamin Moore describes it as a refreshing alternative to white or beige, and I think it does a wonderful job at doing that. It's a really soft, kind of airy pink that can be described as actually a very light version of brown if you continue along its color chip, but in practical use, it's not really a light strawberry shortcake type of pink. Depending on your lighting, it may actually have a touch of that bubblegum pink quality, but it's very light and subtle. Definitely not like bubblicious pink. Do they have bubblicious in the States? It's a type of bubblegum. This color has a light reflectance value of around 75.9.86, I think. And this has recently changed with the reformulation that Benjamin Moore paint colors have gone through. It used to be a bit lighter actually. So now it has more of a noticeable depth, which I'm a fan of. A keen eye would notice this slight variation enough to have them avoid it if they wanted something even more light and airy. But in my opinion, if you're picking a pink, you probably wanna notice that color hue. I find it to be a wonderful choice for bedrooms, boiler alert. And it's because it plays into this narrative of waking up to the first light you see, which is the sunrise. And as the sun comes up and that beautiful warm light comes in, the color really comes to life. If you decided to paint your walls first light, the first color pairing you wanna consider is your white color pairing. And I think a really crisp bright white just pops off of first light. And you don't get much crisper than Chantilly Lace OC65. Chantilly Lace has gone through a bit of a change recently where it's not necessarily as bright as it once was, but it's still as bright and clean as you can get within Benjamin Moore's line. It's not going to compete with first light's delicate undertones because Chantilly Lace really doesn't have any undertones. Some experts will say that it leans maybe a tiny bit warmer, generally speaking, but that warmth will disappear if you have any cool lighting illuminating it. So it's kind of a wash for me. I think the goal here is to reflect as much light as possible. And with Chantilly Lace's 90 plus LRV, you're gonna be able to do that pretty easily. I would say almost exclusively that Chantilly Lace is a great ceiling, baseboard, door, and trim color. You could use it on the walls in adjacent rooms for a more minimalist approach, or you can just think of it as the pure white linens and bed sheets you may be using to contrast a little bit. I mean, you're contrasting a bright white with an off-white, so it is kind of subtle when you think about it. But what if you wanted a light color pairing option that can work alongside First Light? Well, this one is another extremely subtle color pairing and another off-white with an LRV around 84. The color is called Opal. OC-73. Now you will notice some similarities between this color and First Light because they're both a bit pinky, but when you pair them together, you really start to notice some differences. Opal is quite a bit lighter overall and a bit more nondescript in its color hue. It's less pink and actually a little more peachy beige. It has this sort of milky quality, which is explained by its lightness. And I really love incorporating peach with pink because one tends to mellow out the other a little bit. It also acts as a pretty nice transition between pink and a more straightforward cream or beige or any other neutrals for that matter. We start to see a different kind of neutral once we incorporate our mid-tone color pairing called Plymouth Rock. And this is a 42 LRV medium taupe which combines 
a warm brown with gray. This is a color that is very different than First Light because it obviously is quite a bit darker and just offers a much more settled and grounded aesthetic to contrast First Light. Plymouth Rock is a little more traditional feeling and can act as kind of an anchor for the people that are more accustomed to using grays and grayages. Don't think of this as an accent wall color necessarily for first light. I'd more so use it within my accessories to bring the focus back to that beautiful pink on the walls. You can also use it in adjacent rooms where you really want a different feel altogether. But for me, I like surrounding first light with other lighter pastels and airy colors on the wall specifically. But if you have first light on your walls in your bedroom, and then you have maybe a Plymouth Rock colored area rug or even the flooring, then a bright crisp white duvet cover, now we're talking. The last color ends up being the dark color pairing, which is pretty much the accent to me here. It's deep, but not overly dramatic because we don't wanna bring in a ton of competing colors here. Although Night Train is pretty complimentary. It has an LRV of 22.8 and it ends up feeling like a rich, cool gray green mixed with pink is very glam. It's a very glamorous color pairing, but I think when it's done a little more tastefully, where you're leaning into those lighter colors a bit more prominently, it really works for me. Night Train can just be that supportive or accent color to give you a little bit of variation, both in depth and color hue. I might have incorporated First Light as the colors that I picked for my home, which you can check out right over here. Comment below if you wanna see my First Light painted bedroom. It's a work in progress, but maybe it'll be fun to share with you.